Power of Attraction. Chakra is a Sanskrit term. Chakras are aligned with the spine and are connected to different parts of the body through the sympathetic and parasympathetic channels within the body. So the endocrine system and these channels and the bloodstream all connect the chakras to different parts of the body. Thus, through this system, hormones affect different functions of the body, like breathing. In reality, the activity of each cell in the body is an electrical, biological process. As within each cell of the body, there is an electric potential difference between itself and its outside environment. This electrical potential difference is hidden within the cells. Yet, when large number of cells are gathered and are in motion, this electrical potential becomes measurable. Now, the organs that make up our endocrine system, because they are made from very dense group of cells with high electrical potentials that produce hormones, possess a relatively strong electrical and magnetic fields. So these organs are like chemical plants that produce chemicals, but also produce electrical and magnetic currents and fields. Therefore, the heart and the brain are not the only organs that produce electrical and magnetic fields. All these organs create within our bodies layers of magnetic and electrical energies, which are detectable. And each of these layers possesses a halo of field effect, which demonstrates the field of activity. The halos around the organs of the endocrine system, because of the activities, are in general stronger than the rest of the body. So, for example, the halo of field around our fingertips are very weak, but around our brain, these are much stronger, as the brain is the center of chemical, electrical, and magnetic functionality of our body. This is why, in the old paintings of holy persons or saints, you often see a golden halo. Drawn around their heads or body, as these people have developed these fields to a high degree. So you see these holy people depicted as having an elliptical golden halo around them, as in these people, their body is contained within their soul or spirit because of their spiritual exercises, rather than the other way around, which is the case for most other people. So this halo. Is in reality the outer garment of the person's soul. The teachers who are familiar with the invisible spiritual anatomy of our bodies have identified seven areas of the endocrine system within the body, which run parallel to our spines as being important energy centers. These seven areas are gateways that connect our magnetic bodies or layers to our physical body. These teachers. State that through different methods of breathing and recitation of certain mantras that create inner vibrations within our bodies, we can strengthen the magnetic fields around these seven energy centers. After years of exercises under the guidance of a qualified teacher, by strengthening these fields, we can increase their power of attraction and repulsion, as all fields are made of two different poles, positive and negative. Now it is our minds, orientation, and activity that ultimately determines what we attract or repulse towards or away from us. As going through these exercises does not alter the person's viewpoint or outlook. Therefore, a person with a dominant pessimistic and negative outlook who goes through these exercises tends to pull negative events or outcomes towards him or herself. However, when an optimistic and a positive person strengthens these fields. The person pulls positive events and outcomes towards him or herself. Therefore, a seeker must undergo a two-step process. First, being cleansing of the person's mindset, so that person attains a positive outlook, and the second being the strengthening of these fields and one's power of attraction through spiritual exercises.